Warren Buffett is the single most influential person when it comes to my investing philosophy. And this is for good reason, because he is the greatest investor of all time. And while this is true, this is also like saying Tiger Woods is the most influential person when it comes to my golf game. All while I'm hitting the golf ball right into the lake and shooting a 90 to 100 every single time I play golf. The good news is Warren Buffett also gave advice to people like you and I who are just looking to build generational wealth for our families over time. In fact, he invests his wife's own money in this exact portfolio and lays it out exactly for each and every single one of us so that we can copy and mimic this portfolio. So in today's video, we are going to dive into the Warren Buffett portfolio. Now, the beautiful thing about the Warren Buffett portfolio is that the Warren Buffett portfolio is actually a very simple portfolio. Anybody can do this. Anybody can actually put together this portfolio. And to make it incredibly easy, I already put the portfolio together for you in this video. And then at the end, I also provided a link for you to M1 Finance, which we can talk about later, where you can actually just set it and forget it, set this portfolio up with ETFs. Now, Uncle Warren first introduced this portfolio in his 2013 letter to shareholders. And if you haven't read Warren Buffett's letter to shareholders, they are some of the best investment reads you can ever find. They are a gold mine when it comes to investment advice. And in his 2013 letter, he gave us the first step into putting together the Warren Buffett portfolio. He said this, the goal of the non-professional should not be to pick winners. Neither he nor his helpers can do that, but should rather be to own a cross section of business that in the aggregate are bound to do well. A low cost S&P 500 index fund will achieve that goal. This is a profound message because what he's talking about here is investing in the S&P 500 is one of the major factors to doing well, especially if you're not a professional investor. Now, in his 2014 letter to shareholders, he gives even more information. My advice to the trustee could not be more simple. Put 10% of cash in short-term government bonds and 90% in a very low cost S&P 500 index fund. I suggest Vanguard's. Buffett also stated in his 2014 letter to shareholders, I believe the trust's long-term results from this policy will be superior to those attained by most investors, whether pension funds, institutions, individuals who employ high fee managers. What Buffett is saying here is that high fee investments are not the way to go. In fact, low cost investments are the way to go because those fees eat so much into your investment portfolio. We've talked about this a number of times on the Personal Finance Podcast and on this YouTube channel as well. We talk through why fees are so impactful to your money. In fact, a 1% fee could eat away at six figures to seven figures of your wealth building ability if you have it just a 1% fee. It doesn't sound like much, but it actually is incredibly powerful for a lot of investors. But here's the amazing part. What we just read in Warren Buffett's letters to shareholders is we just got investment advice and portfolio advice from the greatest investor of all time. So he tells us exactly what to invest in. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you the Vanguard index funds that Warren is talking about here. So there are two index funds that you can buy at Vanguard. These are some of the best index funds that are out there. I own them in my personal portfolio. But in addition, if you don't have enough money to start with index funds later on in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with ETFs as well which have a lower cost to get into when you invest in ETFs. So the first index fund is going to be Vanguard's 500 indexed Admiral shares or VFIAX. And this stands for the S&P 500 Admiral shares. And all this index fund does is it mirrors the S&P 500. This isn't really a powerful thing to understand because this mirrors the S&P 500. When one company is not doing well of the 500 largest companies in the US stock market, they will be kicked out of that S&P 500. And that's exactly what the S&P 500 is. It is the 500, it's actually a little more than 500, but it's the 500 largest companies in the US that are the best performing companies in the US as well. The only way for the S&P 500 to fail is if America fails, because this is the 500 largest companies within the US stock market. Now, the second fund that Buffett recommends is having a bond index fund. Now, what he talks about is short-term government bonds, but in fact, I like to have it even a more broad diversification and look at the Vanguard total bond market index fund, and that is VBTLF. You put 10% in this Vanguard total bond market index fund and 
20% in the S&P 500 index fund. And the perfect part about this is I modeled this exact portfolio out on Y charts. And Y charts is an amazing way where you can actually look at some of these portfolios. They have a seven day free trial that I'll link up down below that you can check out. But I modeled this whole thing out in Y charts. And here's some of the key stats for the Warren Buffett portfolio. First of all, the expense ratio would be 0.04% if you're investing in these index funds. The dividend yield would be 1.66%. The net stock allocation, as we know, would be 90.16%. And the net bond allocation, if we're doing a 90-10 portfolio, would be 9.46%. And the annualized all-time total return of this portfolio is 9.99%. So if you follow our TikTok or you see our YouTube shorts, we talk about a 10% rate of return all the time. This is why the S&P 500 all-time has returned a 10% rate of return. If you invest in something like a Warren Buffett portfolio, you're going to get close to that as well. So let's see how this performed against the S&P 500, because we always want to put it against that benchmark as well. And obviously, it's going to be very close because it's weighted 90% in the S&P 500 and 10% of bonds. So we anticipate it to be a little bit lower, but those bonds help you ride out the market because the bonds are less volatile than stocks are, meaning bonds don't go up and down as much as stocks do. So let's look at this portfolio and see what happens here. So over the last three years, this portfolio at the time I'm recording this, the Warren Buffett portfolio has returned 7.88%. And the S&P 500 has returned 8.86%. Over the last five years, 9.88% for the Warren Buffett portfolio. And the S&P 500, 10.75%. Over the last 10 years, 11.57% for the Warren Buffett portfolio. And the S&P 500 total return has been 12.67%. Over the last 15 years, the Warren Buffett portfolio has returned 9.43%. And the S&P 500, 10.04%. Over the last 20 years, 9.81% for the Warren Buffett portfolio and 10.44% for the S&P 500. And then all time, as we talked about before, the Warren Buffett portfolio has actually slightly outperformed the S&P 500 at 9.99%. And the S&P 500 returned 9.94%. But what I really care about here is as we're looking at this example is the last 20 years. The Warren Buffett portfolio returned 9.81% over the last 20 years. The S&P 500, 10 0.44%. So what we want to know is, is this a portfolio that you can actually utilize in retirement? Is this a good portfolio for retirement? And to do that, we need to figure out the 4% rule. Now, if you've never heard of the 4% rule, it is a rule that states that you can draw down 4% of your total portfolio. And if you do that, you will be able to preserve your portfolio through retirement. We've done a number of episodes on the 4% rule as well that you can check out. So let's see what the 90-10 portfolio would do. Say if you invested 1000 dollars per month inside of a 90-10 portfolio. We got the same rate of return as the last 20 years. Let's see what would happen. And we'll do this over the course of 30 years. So if you got that 9.81% rate of return over the course of 30 years, here's how much you would have at the end. You'd have $1,988,454. And your total contributions would be $360,000. That's how much money you would have put in. And the amount of money that your money made, this is incredibly powerful, would be one million. dollars $628,454. Now, this is really, really powerful to understand as we look through this. So with the 4% rule, is this a good portfolio to ride that out? Absolutely, because if you did that $1,000 a month and you had that $1.988 million, you could draw on $79,538 per year to be able to live on inside of that portfolio. Now, if you need more money to live on, then you increase the amount that you're investing every month or you buy additional assets like cash flowing real estate or something along the those lines. But at the same time, this is an amazing portfolio for you to look at so that you can grow your wealth over time. Now for you chart lovers, if you love charts, run, I'm going to show you here on the screen how closely they run so that you can see that's almost exactly the same. The Warren Buffett portfolio and the S&P 500, you just get a little extra diversification with the Warren Buffett portfolio. Now, another question that we have is, well, how does this compare to more conservative portfolios out there? In fact, there was a finance professor, his name was Javier Estrada, and he looked at this portfolio and said, is this good for retirement? Is this a good portfolio for retirement? And he used that same hypothetical, a $1,000 investment one time, and he used historical returns. And he looked at this with 30-year intervals. And when he looked at these 30-year intervals, he first looked from 1900 to 1929 because he wanted the entire historic return to see how this would do. And then he looked from 1985 to 2014. And he collected data on 86 intervals in all when he did this. Now, what's surprising is in the worst times within all of these time frames in the worst years of the market. This portfolio performed very closely to a 
portfolio. Why is this powerful? Because a 60-40 portfolio will not return as much as a Warren Buffett portfolio would. Why? Because it's 40% bonds. That means it's 60% stocks, 40% bonds. Bonds have underperformed stocks historically. So this portfolio will not perform as well. And a lot of reasons why people would utilize this portfolio is because they want to ride out those rough times. Well, the Warren Buffett portfolio did very well in those rough times. And during good times, it absolutely crushed the 60-40 portfolio. Now, the cool thing about the 60-40 portfolio, one good thing I will say about that portfolio is that it has a 0% failure rate over those 86 time periods. In fact, we'll pull this up on the screen and you can see the difference between various portfolios and their failure rates over those time frames. So you can see the 100-0 portfolio, meaning 100% stocks, has a 3.5% failure rate. The 90-10 portfolio has a 2.3% failure rate. The 80-20 portfolio has a 2.3% failure rate. And then you go down to 60-40, it has a 0% failure rate. And then the interesting thing is, the more bond exposure you get, the higher the failure rate goes. So the 37-B portfolio had a 12.8% failure rate. That's a very high failure rate. You do not want your portfolio to have that much, that high of a failure rate. Now, I think that most people should consider the Warren Buffett portfolio, and it should be the first thing, especially if you're young, it should be one of the portfolios that you opt to if you don't know what to invest because it's one of those portfolios that is really incredibly powerful. And if the greatest investor of all time is telling you to invest in something, why think twice? Who, what other advisor can you go out there and ask that has better returns than Warren Buffett? Nobody does. Warren Buffett has over a hundred billion dollars just from investing his money. So this is something where you got to look at who is giving you these tips so that you understand that this is one of those portfolios that you can look at over time. Now, you always want to do your own research, but if you look at some of these returns historically, then you're going to be able to see that the Warren Buffett portfolio is absolutely an amazing portfolio for a lot of people and is one that I have held for a long time in some of my investment accounts as well. And one of which is you can actually craft the Warren Buffett portfolio in something like M1 Finance. Now, we did this for you. So there's a link down below that you can check out where I already did this and crafted this portfolio for you. So it's just a one click thing. And the reason why I like M1 Finance is because you invest in ETFs, which have lower costs to get into than index funds. But in addition, at M1 Finance, you can rebalance your portfolio in one click. I absolutely love that feature. And I think that feature is underutilized for a lot of people, especially if you don't want to rebalance a portfolio. If you have this pie put together, which I already put together for you, you can check it out in the link down below. This will rebalance it for you all in one click. And we'll put the Warren Buffett portfolio at M1 Finance on the screen here. And you can see we chose two ETFs. We chose VOO, which is a fantastic ETF that I've held forever. And VOO is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. And we chose VGSH, which is Vanguard's short-term treasury bonds ETF. And so we did 90% in the S&P 500 ETF and 10% in the short-term treasury ETF. This will mirror exactly what the Warren Buffett portfolio is in the ETF version. And the only major difference between index funds and ETFs, if you're new to all of this, is index funds trade like a mutual fund and ETFs trade like a stock. So ETFs are easy to get in and out of and index funds are a little bit more difficult and time consuming to get out of. Now there's some tax implications in there as well, but these are also something that you want to look at. Now, this portfolio also has, as you can see, a lower expense ratio in the index fund. It's actually 0.01% lower than the actual index fund portfolio that Warren recommends as well. So that is another perk to having this portfolio in place. And you can put this portfolio together fairly quickly. So this is a very cool way. It's actually a one-click thing. If you already have M1 Finance set up, you can just one-click set it up. Or if you don't know where you want to invest your dollars, M1 Finance is a fantastic place. Completely recommend them have had a portfolio there for years and years. Listen, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. I hope you learned a ton about the 90-10 portfolio and how to construct a Warren Buffett portfolio. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend as well. And we will see you on the next video.